Hi, what I'm going to do today is cut a small sign for the Incredible Muffin Company, the pattern for which you can see on the screen in front of you. The Incredible Muffin Company itself is a uh, project of the North Shore Mental Health Association of British Columbia. And what they do is they take uh, mentally and sometimes physically challenged individuals and provide them with uh, job training and experience so that they can move on to real jobs in the, uh, in the real world and uh, be successful at it. Over the years I've seen quite a few people actually uh, move on to um, good jobs in some fairly well-known businesses. Anyways, I'm making this because one of the workers there, Kathy, was really interested in how I make these types of things, so I thought I would show her. What you're looking at on the screen is a software called VCarve Pro. It's uh, software specifically designed to help cut things out of uh, wood, metal, whatever you like, using V-bits. This, uh, this is a V-bit. Pretty obvious why they call it a V. It looks almost like an arrowhead. Um, it's got specific routines built right in that uh, takes all the real grunt work out of trying to design the machine paths to get all of the cutting done correctly. Um, it also lets you take a 3D preview. Now I'm going to cut this out of MDF, so I've just chosen MDF as a material. And what I'll do is I'll pop these out. And this is one of the tool paths. I'll go do a preview. And that's what this tool path is going to do, is cut out this border. There's a bunch of different operations that I do. So I'll just do preview wall so you can see the whole thing at once. So there, this is what the sign should look like on the MDF when I'm done. That's one of the other nice things is put these little tabs. This, this is actually cut completely through the wood, but they leave these little tabs so that the wood doesn't go flying off when you finish your final cut. V-Carve itself doesn't actually control the machine. It comes up with a uh, command file that tells the machine how to work, but you need different software to tell it to actually, uh, or how to actually do things. This software is called Mach 3. This is what actually controls the machine that will be doing the cutting. Over here, you can see these are the actual commands that are going out to the machine. Uh, it may look complicated, but this first part is just a line number, then there's an X coordinate to go to, a Y coordinate to go to, and back up here is the uh, Z coordinate. So this first pass will be cutting uh, 31 thousandths of an inch deep at a feed rate of 30 inches per minute. Right? The plunge is 5 minute and then the feed rate will be 30. Over here we got a small preview of what the uh, machine will be doing. As it's cutting it will actually show the little crosshair will be moving around to uh, represent where the cutter head is. Um, down in the bottom is all the uh, tool information, which tool it is, all these types of things. There's also a, uh, a little larger view which I can pan around and take a look at. You can see the little green representation here of the cutter head. That will all be working in 3D when the machine gets going. This is the machine I'm going to be using. It's a uh, K2 CNC company uh, model 2514. It's 25 inches long by 14 inches wide cutting area. It's got three motors. You see the one at the top here. This makes the spindle go up and down. There's another one here that makes the spindle go back and forth. And there's another one way over there. You can just barely see the end of it. And that makes it go forward and back. You can see the uh, V-bit I have on there. This one is a 90 degree V-bit. The one I was showing you earlier is a 60. This just makes a little wider cuts. I've cut away part of the uh, dust shield, so I'm going to be creating more dust than, than usual. And also the, uh, the vacuum pickup and the router itself are both quite noisy, so there won't be any commentary. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, show small portions of the cuts, skip ahead, because this uh, whole operation is probably going to take a little more than an hour. There's a lot of detail to cut. Alright, so uh, let me get things started.